we are in Tver, in uh, the administrative center of Tverskaya Oblast or at Tverskaya district. Uh, we were very weary. We are on halfway to St. Petersburg and we have done uh, 800 kilometers, no, 700 kilometers. And this is the main pedestrian street of uh, Tver. Here is a, a New Year fair. We came to Tver in the evening on New Year's Eve. Despite wet snow, we came out for a short sightseeing walk. The main pedestrian street was decorated for tourists and city residents, though we were walking on empty streets. We found few attractions, such as a city clocks, monument of Russian celebrity singer and New Year fair. We didn't linger because it was cold and boring. We returned to Inn. The long trip is expected tomorrow, we ought to have a proper rest. Eventually, tomorrow is the 31st of December and the most important celebration in Russia – New Year. That means one more sleepless night. This is New Year Fair. New Year Fair in Tver. As I mentioned, we are lucky we come to St. Petersburg during the New Year's holidays. I want to pay attention to apartment studio we rented. It was not expensive and the same time very decent. Modern kitchen with tiled floors, flat TV, free Wi-Fi, queen-size bed and fantastic city skyline. First attraction to visit the Kazan Cathedral. Building has nothing in common to Orthodox cathedrals that prevails in Russia since it was modeled on St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Construction finished in 1911 during Emperor Alexander I's reign. Cathedral of the 90 meters length and 72 meters height. The feature is 96 pillars are at the north entrance and 54 pillars are inside. Some significant relics are here. The Kazan Saint Icon of the Mother of God, the tomb of Kutuzov General Field Marshal who vanquished Napoleon during the Russian-French War. There are also kept trophies he conquered during his French campaign, 70 pieces from European cities and fortresses, 100 military standards and flags of defeated armies. The Savian Blue Church is 400 meters away Kazan Cathedral. Built right on the murder scene, its architecture style is tremendous result of cooperation work of architects, constructors and craftsmen. The main condition of construction was Alexander III demand to maintain the stone pavement of the channel where blood of his father spilled by a terrorist attack. In 1881, Russian Emperor Alexander II was fatally wounded by a bomb thrown under his feet. Church finished in 1907. Walls and ceiling of mosaic describes the Bible stories and saints' livings. Some pieces are very small. It took about 10 years to assemble all mosaic pictures and icons together. And on your screens is pavilion with a part of stone pavement where the wounded Alexander II lay dying. We nearby monument of Nicholas I, the Russian Emperor. My opinion that Nicholas I was the best leader in Russia, at least from Romanov dynasty, despite of the failure of Sevastopol defense and the loss of the Crimean War. But we keep on our sightseeing walk and approach into the St. Isaac Cathedral. Before we enter inside, I would remark the building of the Angleterre Hotel. This is Angleterre Hotel. The last resort of Yesenin, a famous Russian poet. He composed his uh, the last poem, uh, Goodbye, my friend, goodbye, in this hotel, and then committed his suicide nearby Isaac Cathedral. So, well, that's, we are going further to the Isaac Cathedral. Yesenin was a bright Russian poet. His romantic poems about nature, Russia and love to fatherland are famous and comprehensible for Russian folk. It would take hours if I was telling the story of St. Isaac construction. I will try to be short. Initially there was wood in the St. Isaac church, which was built three years after St. Petersburg foundation. Then it was rebuilt in bricks. In 18th century church rebuilt as cathedral. However, it was so ugly in spite of project of famous Rivaldi architect. Cathedral became the subject for jokes and Tsar Alexander I hired August Montferrand for reconstruction. Since that time, 40 years story of discussions and controversies between commission headed with Modui and chief architect Montferrand commenced. The project criticized by commission, but since Emperor favored Montferrand, construction approved. Despite of commission decision, the construction was impressively global, with innovative technologies applied. 400,000 peasants were involved. Water died from diseases and accidents. Great amount of resources invested into construction of the age. Find and read the story of giant granite columns, how they were extracted as a piece of granite treated and brought to St. Petersburg. Study the story of scaffolds that developed by Betancourt for rising columns. Dimensions of cathedral 104 meters length, 102 meters height, and capacity 17,000 parishioners. I'll put links below for you in video description. This is small copy of scaffoldings. 
that's been designed for columns which weighed 117 tons. Cathedral view from inside. This is famous scaffold developed by Betancourt. This is panoramic skyline view from St. Isaac Cathedral. And haven't you noticed the tall spire? This is St. Peter and Paul Cathedral, our next site to visit. Winter Palace with the Palace Square and Alexander Column in the middle. This is Savion Blood Church, roofs of St. Petersburg. And the last is uh, Kazan Cathedral. Zooming in. But we proceed in further to St. Peter and Paul Fortress and Cathedral, which is actually the burial place for Romanov dynasty from Peter the Great. The fortress itself actually has never been used for defense, it has been prison all the time existing. Most clients of the fortress were political prisoners, they call it Russian Bastille. Both fortress and cathedral designed by Dominique Trezini. The fortress finished in 1740, while cathedral a bit earlier in 1733. The cathedral of 123 meters tall including spire. There are St. Petersburg Mint Building, St. Petersburg Historical Museum and observation deck inside the territory of fortress. I'll show you some tombs of Russian emperors and cathedral from inside. Right one of Peter the Great, then it goes tomb of his wife Catherine I, and the left one of his daughter Elizabeth. This is the boatic of Peter the Great, the grandfather of Russian fleet, small vessel discovered by Peter the Great and his family estate. It has got dark and we're gonna return home. This is view on St. Petersburg in night from observation deck in fortress. On the way we came across Aurora Cruiser. Learn more on Wikipedia. Link below. Very short briefing. It's famous for shot which initiated Bolshevik assault on Winter Palace and beginning of Russian Revolution in 1917. Have a good night. To be continued.